which is what is sidechain? And um, that's a very good question. And uh, let me just uh, uh, wet my word here. So, what is sidechain? Sidechain is the act of sending a parallel signal to the to the signal that you are working with. Let's say you are working with drums, and you want to sidechain the drums. What does that mean? It means that you will be adding extra processing to the drums and effects to the drums, but you will not apply them to the main channel. So let's go into FL Studio and let me show you how to do that. Let's first create here a drum loop very easily. And I think I can use one of the templates. Let's go Club Basic. Yeah, we have here something. Let's go one, 90 BPM, just, just um, to show something here. I have a, a comment from X Disley. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Hi there, awesome channel. Thank you very much. Um, let's go and do the. Um, I really appreciate that uh, that comment. And uh, let's let's listen. Okay, simple drum loop. Let's now put everything into a channel. So let's select everything. Let's send to this channel here, route to this track only. So this will be our drums for our sidechain testing. And uh, right now, if I want to add compression, distortion, EQ, I would go here to the slots and I would apply directly into this, this um, drum channel. But let's say that I want to add uh, different, uh, how can I say, different uh, processing or a, a sidechain processing to this. What I would do is let's let's stop here the 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 playback. What I would do is go here and send a copy of the same plugin or the same channel to a different channel. And to do that, we route. Sorry, we do route to this track. So if I click here. Now you see that we have two routings, one for the main, for the master, and one for this second channel. And let's call this side chain, side chain. And now if let's say I want to add some distortion, I can go here and add some cool distortion. Let's add a very aggressive distortion. Let's lower the volume. And then I can mix this, uh, distorted channel. Let's see. Okay, let's make it a little bit more aggressive. So now you see that I'm applying some effects, but in a sidechain way. So if I remove the sidechain, I'm actually not applying any effects directly into the the drum channel itself, but I'm side chaining it and applying side chain compressor, side chain distortion. We can also do this with reverb, EQ. We can do whatever uh, parallel um, processing we want. We do it with a side chain uh, capability. I don't know why they call it side chain, but as you can see is a chain or a, a side channel that we can just control add effects and control the level of processing that we want to apply to the, the, the original sample or original track. And you can do a lot of these with, uh, we can do a lot of effects with side chain. We can do parallel compression. We can do uh, parallel reverb, parallel delay. We can do the pumping effects that I, that I showed you last week, which is the, the effect that we usually use in electronic dance music to make the pump effect, to make the kick more present. So there's a bunch of other effects that we can, that we can do. And um, this is just one of them. Another way, which is a little bit more advanced, I would say, is using Patcher. Patcher is a very nice plugin, but it gives, it's, it's not, as easy to understand as 
normal channels in the mixer. So here we have a canvas that we can add plugins and just do uh, signal processing over it. So we have way more control that than we have here in this channel uh, in the mixer. So if I hit play now, there's nothing coming out of the speaker. So we have the the signals here for the kick and the snare and the hi hat. And let's put the hi hat actually. Let's put here. And you feel each two steps. So we have kick, hi hat, and snare. And as you can see, everything is being routed to this drum loop or this drum channel, but we don't have any output. Why? Because the, there is no connection from FL Studio to FL Studio. But if we click here and do this, now we have now we have some sounds. Let's lower this, put this a little bit to the left so that this sounds a little bit more like a, a drum loop. So let's say that now I want to, to do some sidechain processing here. How can I do? It's pretty much the same thing that I did here. So I have the main drum loop going through directly to FL Studio. And now I need to add a sidechain processing. How can I do that? I go here. Let's use the same uh, uh, thing that we use blood overdrive and I can just click here send a new copy into blood overdrive let me copy the same or pretty much the same settings and now I can send a new copy or the, the processed copy or the output from blood overdrive I can send it directly to FL Studio and now I have a sidechain process and I control the volume here Okay, so this is the same thing. It's still sidechain processing or side chaining, uh, but it's done with a plugin instead of doing it with a router. So let's try to see. As you can see, it sounds pretty much close to. Maybe we can increase the volume here. And let's see, we have pretty much the same configurations. But as you can see, we can either do it using channels like this, or we can use it using patcher. And uh, patcher is a little bit more advanced, but we can still control pretty much everything. And we can do, uh, if you don't want to do like uh, three, if you want to do like three single uh, process chains, you, you would have to do one for channel six, channel seven, seven, channel eight. But here you can just add new plugins. Let's add some reverb. Uh, where is my reverb here? We can add a reverb and do a third, a third uh, channel here or a third chain of processing. And we can go here, add just, uh, let's do just wet signal, supply a low cut, and then we can mix. This is the original. This is the side chain. Um, the side chain processing. As you can see, there's several ways to do the same thing in FL Studio. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is how you do per, uh, processing or side chain processing or parallel processing. Uh, but the easiest one, I would say, is with the mixer. If you want to get more advanced, you can use Patcher because that will give you a little bit more flexibility. It's also more advanced. Uh, you have to know what you are doing and um, it's not so, so easy to do.